Why do I say things? Why do people give me opportunities to say things? Stick to the script, Bex. Okay, moving on. Hello, I am Bex Taylor Klaus, and uh, I'm here to take the LGBT quiz. There are no points, well, there are points, but they don't really matter, and so I hope to get very few. I'm pretty sure I'll succeed. This 2010 animated series introduced us to a romance between a princess and a vampire. <laughs> Please. Please, adventure time. Yes, Bubbleine! Let's do this! Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Princess Bubblegum and Marceline the Vampire. Mm. I am a fan of Adventure Time mostly because I'm a fan of Jeremy Shada. I love Marceline as a character. Little vampire goth lesbian and her warrior princess girlfriend. Just, it's everything I ever wanted. In the comic book, Dykes to Watch Out For, yes. This three rule test was created that is now applied to most movies when questioning the inclusion and representation of female characters. So this was created by Alison Bechdel, who also created the graphic novel Fun Home, which has then been turned into a musical. Fun Home is one of my favorite graphic novels ever. So Alison Bechdel, if you're by any like chance watching this, I love you. Thank you for your work and thank you for Dykes to watch out for because the Bechdel test is awesome and necessary. So yes, the three rules of the Bechdel test. Okay, two female characters with names having a conversation, like a full dialogue, that does not have to do with a male. You'd be shocked at how many movies do not pass the Bechdel test, including a lot of your favorites. Sorry to burst your bubble. In 1992, this was the first Marvel comic book character to come out as openly gay. 1992, first Marvel comic book character to come out as openly gay. His name is the star by which sailors navigate. Well, that's why I don't know, because it's a guy. As much as I, I love my gays, I'm sorry. You're not like Squirrel Girl or The Runaways, so you weren't my childhood. <laughs> His name is the star, North Star? Oh! That's so cute, North Star had the first depiction of a gay wedding in comic book history. Way to go, 1992. This 2012 Disney Kids animated series culminated with the confirmation of the same-sex interracial relationship of two police officers. Yeah, I don't know this one. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. You might not have seen it, but they solve mysteries out of a mystery shack and the lead- Of course I've seen it! I just haven't seen the last three episodes because I'm not ready for Gravity Falls to be over! One thing that I do a lot when I love a series is I will wait for like three years to watch the last three episodes because I just can't say goodbye to this series that makes me so happy. Deputy Derland and Sheriff Blubs, I ship it. Just on principle. And it's confirmed! Yay! What modern hero slash anti-hero is considered one of the most accurate and empowering depictions of a trans character in the Marvel Comics universe? Ooh. I'm racking my brain. Do you want to know the world that they're in? Yes. Asgard. I never would have known that. No, not a chance. This is this is a trick question. This is this is mean. This is a trick question. But I now know the answer, so thank you. <laughs> Sarah, the partner of Angela, who is a little known sibling of Loki and Thor. Also, Loki is canonically genderqueer. This animated series introduced the world to Todd Chavez, the first depiction of an out ace Latinx man in television. Way to go, Bojack Horseman! Always with the win. And yeah, the first depiction of an ace Latinx man in television. That is, that is so cool. All right, this historically male character was recently reimagined as female in a popular Netflix reboot and is voiced by a beloved non-binary actor. Please tell me this is Pidge. Aw, you think I'm beloved? Ah. Thank you. That's so cute. I feel so special. <laughs> I love Pidge! We got a little Voltron insignia. And we got a little Pidge on the back. I love me some Pidge. Also, you think I'm beloved. <laughs> it's funny when you're wrong. It's sweet, but funny. <laughs> No, 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 pineapple is a, is a disgrace. No, 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 it can't be pineapple, but uh... I am the knight, don't argue with me! 
Oh my god! Mr. J! If I break your phone, can you get another one? Okay, good. <laughs> this is fine. So, I'm looking to get a table for four. Don't, no, no, don't put me on hold! I'm on hold! No, this is, this is in Boca. This is Sparta! I'm just gonna keep throwing my phone. <laughs> I would like to speak to your manager. No? I have this device here that can nuclearize your store in about hmm, five seconds. It's still a no! Oh, you want to play this game, do you? <laughs> I think that's a bad decision, but I can't make decisions for you yet. <laughs> still working on that technology. All right, I'm Bex. This has been the LGBT quiz. I learned something. I learned a lot of things. I hope you learned something maybe a lot of things, and thanks for sticking with me through all my terrible impressions. It's been a blast. <laughs> I'll see myself out.